How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I wanted to bring you a video right now because Tesla is crashing. We've seen it fall down so many days uh, recently. There were, you know, four or 5% days and we just got some news that is pushing it down here today. I wanna talk about that. And I thought there's no more appropriate place than my car, which is a Tesla. Now, uh, be careful out there. We're having the, like a massive winter storm coming through the Midwest. If you're in the Midwest, just be careful. I just went and got some groceries just in case, uh, you know, it's too bad to go out, but I hope everyone has a good Christmas as well. Just wanted to say that. Um, if you wanna support the channel or get some free money, there are links to Moo Moo underneath the video and a couple other places where you can get some free sign up bonuses just by depositing. Now, Tesla is down five or 6% right now. And a lot of people are worried because they just announced that they're going to give $7,500 uh, off of their Teslas or give a credit back for $7,500. And this is on top of, or this is increasing from this 3,750 that they already had. And the, I think it's 1,000 free miles of supercharging as well, which is a pretty big, uh, pretty big discount as well, or a pretty big incentive program. Now, why is this all happening? Why, why do they have to do this? Well, uh, there's a, a, probably a few reasons why. And a lot of people are worried right now about, I think, a few different things with Tesla. <clears throat> First of all, they're worried about Twitter. They're, they're worried that Elon's spending too much time there. They're worried that Elon has to sell too much uh, Tesla stock to fund Twitter. And they're worried that Elon's getting too political and then also decreasing the demand for Teslas. Now, a couple points on that before we get to Tesla itself and the, the discounts or the rebates or whatever it is called. First of all, you have to realize Elon just announced that he will be stepping down as Twitter CEO pretty soon, right? Uh, they have to find the right person for the job, but that will fix the fact that he's probably a little bit too political. He's also just learning more uh, as the head of Twitter, right? It's, it looks bad if you're using Twitter as this massive platform uh, to spread, you know, political views, I think that are pretty divisive and you're the CEO. That doesn't look good. If you're maybe the owner uh, or you're just not there as much day to day, I think it's a little bit better. Uh, one other thing to consider too is he just said that he thinks that Twitter 2023 will be break even, which is great because that means that tw that he most likely won't have to sell Tesla stock that is uh so i think that that's also very beneficial they were running at a burn rate of uh, around six billion dollars or they were going to be spending six billion dollars and they were making three billion so they're going to have a negative three percent or three billion dollar a year next year but he cut costs so much it went from eight thousand employees down to two thousand and they're still working uh so a lot of the a lot of the cutting that they did i think is working out now a lot of a lot of different companies or news outlets picked up the fact that they're even selling like tables and desks and stuff like that. And they were worried that if they have to pinch pennies like that, that they uh, obviously are having issues. But I think the fact is they just didn't need them. So why not sell them at that point? So that really fixes the three problems that people have with Twitter. They're worried about Elon spending too much time. They're worried about the burn rate. And then they're also worried about Elon getting too political and then making it... Uh, less likely for people to buy their products at Tesla. Now, keep in mind, you really don't know the political views of any other CEO out there, but you know Elon just because he is a big personality. So over time, I think people will care a lot less or just know where he stands on things and then not really care as much. Now, moving on to Tesla itself, people are worried that since there's more of a credit or more of a uh, reduction in the cost, that Tesla obviously has demand issues. They're also seeing that you can buy Teslas a lot faster in certain areas. But keep in mind that there's still a lot of demand for almost every product out there, uh, like at Apple, right? But you can still buy them right away. If you think about any product besides maybe like a house or something like that that you have to build, you can usually buy it right away, but that doesn't indicate that they have low, uh, that they have low demand. It's just a much better experience if you have that extra product. Now, the other thing is, they might be having a reduction in the demand just because of the fact that we have a large tax credit coming here very soon in the US, right? We are gonna get in 10 days a uh, tax credit for $7,500. So 
if I was going to buy a Tesla right now, I would just wait. Why buy now, right? There's no point uh, besides just getting it a week earlier. But I would rather save, you know, 10% or 8% uh, off of the sales price and then just get it in uh, a week and a half later. So I think they're trying to incentivize it because for the end of the quarter, they do want to sell what they have in terms of uh, production. Now, they may still have a little bit less sales than people expect, but we are heading into recession. So there might just be bad news. <laughs> in the short term, we are having a reduction in demand, but the demand is still really high. We know that they're going to lower the price of their cars over time. They have high margins that they're able to do that, but they want to be able to lower the price over time. They don't hope to continue to raise raise the price so aggressively like they have over the last few years. That's not their goal. Their goal is to get this these cars into as many garages as possible, still make a lot, but then also be able to sell you software and continue to get high margins in that way. So they're hoping not to be the most premium car for a long time, right? They want to have nice cars, but then also some cheaper cars and they want to continue to, to uh, decrease the price of their cars over time. So that's going to be just happening over the coming years anyways, as their products get cheaper and cheaper to produce for them because they're at a higher and a higher scale they will lower the prices to be able to sell more. So just get that out of your head. And then also we're just heading into a recessionary time, right? People might not be wanting to spend as much, but uh, long-term, there's still a massive transition to electric vehicles. I think 10 years from now, there's gonna be such a much bigger market and who is gonna be leading the way? Tesla at a 30 priced earnings now, basically like a trailing, especially if you count this quarter, a trailing, 30 PE. This is uh, still an expensive stock compared to the overall stock market if you look at trailing PE. But if you look at Ford PE, uh, maybe six or seven dollars per share, we're still talking about basically the same price as index funds. And I think that's quite attractive. Now, we still have bad macro. That's the other part. We have Twitter, Tesla, and macro. We still have all uh, stocks falling essentially or the indices falling. We still have the Fed raising rates. Uh, but again, you want to be in a, if you're gonna be in stocks, you wanna be in a company like Tesla that doesn't have a lot of debt because that means that they won't have to pay higher and higher amounts if they have to reservice the debt or issue shares. They're already cash flow uh, positive. So this is a good company to be owning. Now, on the other side, it is a higher multiple, so we will get hit harder. But this is also just, for a certain period of time too, right? If you are looking out more than the next year, you could say that this is a great time to be buying because the rates are quite high compared to where we expect them to be long-term. We expect the Fed to lower rates in the next year or two. So while there's a lot of pain right now, uh, that narrative isn't even being talked about that much anymore. Like uh, when we have Fed meetings and CPI coming up, people talk about that, but that's not what's really driving Tesla stock as much anyways. Uh, there's just a lot of fear over Twitter and then over Tesla demand in general. So while there has been some negative news recently, I'm a buyer, I'm still a buyer. I'm buying a significant amount because I want to continue to add to this position because I think the demand for Tesla will still be crazy over the coming years. They're still, I think, doing better than just about every company out there and the Short-term headwinds are just that. They're just short-term headwinds. They will get through this and they still have a much better product than everything else on the market, I think, uh, for the kind of margins that they get as well. Uh, you can make a nicer car, but the fact is you're gonna have to sell it at a much higher price, like Lucid, for example. And certain car companies aren't even taking these electric cars seriously anymore. Toyota just said that they're not sure if they're gonna uh, go through and try to produce electric vehicles or if they're going to do hydrogen or something else, hybrid. So a lot of car companies still aren't even on the right track. So I'm still buying Tesla. I still like it at this price. I'm going to continue buying Tesla and I'll buy it all the way down if it continues to fall. And I'm looking over the long term and I think that's still going to be a very wise decision. Now, maybe you think I'm crazy. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you're buying Tesla, if you actually like when it falls or if it hurts. If you hate it when it falls, let me know, and I will see you in the next video. Again, just be safe out there. Snow isn't coming here yet, but it's, it's definitely coming. See you in the next video. Bye.